On the floor for the Bisbee Golden State Warriors. At small forward, Andrew Williams. At shooting guard, Clay Thompson. At the other forward position, Jonathan Kuminga. At center, Draymond Green. At the other guard position, Stephen Curry. The head coach of the visiting team is Steve Curry. Get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Let's see some of the numbers here for Stephen Curry. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There has been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that deal back. And now the Golden State Warriors start off. Out in the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Green is out there with Kuminga, and it's Curry in at the point. And for Minnesota, Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the one. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought said there's were going extinct. Look around the league. There, there is so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Now here's Gobert. Edwards with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. As to Towns, beyond the arc. Draymond Green pulls it in. Thompson against Conley. Passes to Curry. Left block shot on the way. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. A, a team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. Now here's Towns. Tries from the block. That misses off the backboard. To the middle here's green and green slams it in oh, andrew wiggins the former first overall pick showing off his passing skills there here in the first a little over a minute played so far kind laid the pass to go there kicks to edwards over thompson the timberwolves again can't hit that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Kaminga dishes to Curry. Outside, Green. Shot clock at six. Pass to Curry. Shoots over McDaniel. And Curry the bucket on the assist by Green. 
Curry's got his second basket of the night. And he's not just the best shooter in the league because Curry hits the open shots. He hits the tough ones as well. The jump hook. Towns, no luck. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. Green, the pass to Wiggins. Wiggins drawn the double team. Green kicks to Kaminga. Curry on the wing. Over Towns. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. So the Timberwolves call their first time out. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. Um, they seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. And now, a moment to see the stats for Carmel. He's really stood out for them over the past month. Putting up about 10 points a night, five assists, and three rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving, and of course, finds the open man. Now here is Conley. He's coming off a 16-point game against San Antonio. Edwards against Thompson. Edwards passes to Conley. To stop the drought, and he hits the jump shot. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. And you know, what you love about Mike Conley, he, he's a leader by example. The epitome of a terrific point guard and teammate. True professional in every sense of the word, on and off the floor. He plays and he teaches and mentors. I could see him, if he desired, being a really good head coach someday. Towns sets the pick for Edward. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Edwards against Thompson. Free throw line jump shot. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Edwards dishes to come. Now the pass to Towns. He kicks it to Edwards. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at Minnesota, they are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they are going to be slowing down at all. And of course, there's the Warriors. They have a lot of ground to make up. And well, for the Warriors, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, they just haven't been there. Yeah, and you know, we've seen them enough to know by now they're not going to make that switch from good to great at this point. Not this year, anyway. Wiggins kicks to Green. And here is Kaminga. Coming off a solid outing against Washington. Gobert with the block. So good at finding these spots. Gobert loves reaching out and sending them away. Always a fun time of the season. The race for the postseason kicks into high gear. Yeah, this is when the pack starts to split apart. The, the true contenders come to light. And the teams that might have looked good early start to fade. First one falls. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. 
Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. Now, McDaniels, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Conley surveying the D. Back to McDaniel. Dishes it to Edwards. Out to Conley. It's stolen by Curry. Thompson with it. Conley picks him up. And Thompson gets it to go. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Outside Conley. Looking for McDaniels. He gets it there. Rocking him right off the floor. Explosive jam by McDaniels. Warriors leading by four. Pass to Green. Now here's Curry. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got 11. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Conley against Curry. Gobert with a screen for Conley. Three pointers off the mark. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Thompson finds Kaminga. Golden State moving the ball around. Conley against Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. A three-pointer. Wiggins. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Timberwolves trail by seven. Towns, the pass to Conley. Back to Towns. Over Wiggins. And Towns, the bucket on the assist by Conley. For a big guy like Towns to have that mid-range game in his bag, that's a big-time weapon for their offense. Thompson dishes to Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Right side green. Stolen by Conley. Outside Towns. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Lock at six. And the pass to Towns. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And now, just a three-point Warrior lead. Now Thompson. He's another guy who had a stellar performance in that win against Washington. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Now Thompson. Curry with a wide-open look. And the Warriors miss again. The Timberwolves have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That is his first foul of the game. Anderson, he's checked in for Minnesota. The Warriors also with a sub. Paul's checked in. Edwards kicks to McDaniels. Edwards with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Edwards against Wiggins. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, Doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Paul. Nine points. Last game out. Passes it to Wiggins. On the wing, Thompson. Green, the screen. Wiggins drives in. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Inviting contact on the drive. Wiggins with the aggressive move. Pays off there. Timberwolves trail by three. Has to go bare. And he goes right over Jonathan Peninga and slams it down. The seven-footer flush, Rudy Gobert, goes up and makes it hurt coming down.
And the Warriors with possession here. Ball with the ball. Scoreless thus far. Thompson outside. Takes the three. Drills it from outside. Already finding his spots and capitalizing. Playing really efficient basketball. Conley against Paul. Gobert with a screen for Conley. But Trey. Out to Edwards. Now here's McDaniel. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. And Edwards with the stop. Gobert can look over the top of just about any defense right there. Delivers a nice pass. Golden State's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Ball surveying the floor. Shot clock at five. Puts up a deep three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Towns comes in for Kyle Anderson. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall hype, he has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin, I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that status. And Morris has got the ball here for the Timberwolves. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. Minnesota shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. And he makes the first. Anderson, he's checked in for McDaniel. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Golden State. Both free throws, good from Reed. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw. Here's Pachowski. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Timberwolves. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. Oh, man. Their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. 124 left to play in the first quarter. All against Morris. And there's the pass to Reed. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Reed's got five. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's Paul. No scoring in this one. Pass to Pajemski. Here's Sharich. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Sharich knows he has the touch needed to capitalize inside. Minnesota's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. To the left side wing. 
Towns looking around. Pass to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. And Looney sends it back. And the wide open shot for Morris. And the three off target. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Clay is always ready to fire. Outside town. Misses in close. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. The right guy, right play, wrong result. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And also, guys, they're out-muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. Anderson is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Reed. Then it's Morris, and it's Alexander Walker in at the two. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. All against Morris. And Paul gets it to go in. Paul knows exactly which angle he wants to take on that shot inside. That just comes from great awareness. The Timberwolves trail. Up top, Morris. Defended by Paul. This is it to Reed. A stupendous finish in traffic. Reed got seven. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Paul passes to Curry. Charge outside. Here's Pajemski. Guarded by Reed. Pajemski's shot is good. And with the defender hovering all over him, nice step back. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Golden State Warriors have made the transformation on the league doormat to an all-time champion since the turn of the century. Now, some sources say that the Warriors are the most valuable franchise in the NBA, and right there amongst the most valuable in the world. New ownership, a new arena, they've made a difference to be sure, but make no mistake, Stephen Curry has been the linchpin. Guys? Absolutely, no doubt. DA, thank you. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 12. Again, Golden State. Huge night for Curry in a great rhythm thus far. That's always bad news for the team he's facing. The pass to Reed, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. The Warriors lead it. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And the basket by Curry. Curry is just lethal from outside. Here is Anderson. Hasn't made one yet. Towns sets the pick for Anderson. Out to the right wing. 
Towns, no luck. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. So the wing on the left. Golden State moving the ball around. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Timberwolves trail by seven. Out left of the wing. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Well, you got to respect and admire the focus of Towns. I mean, he just doesn't get rattled. He just stays with it, embraces the challenge, and keeps coming. Now, here's Curry. He's got 16, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Gobert, he's checked in for Minnesota. Mike Conley comes in for Morris. Now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital, setting that standard for others to follow. Minnesota calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's Alexander Walker. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Kicks it to Towns. Into the lane. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. And with Towns, we're looking at one of the best three-point shooting big men in the NBA, Clark. He is something to watch. He really is. And when you add in everything else he does, Kevin, he's one of the best players in the league. Period. Gary Payton has checked in for Andrew Wiggins. At the line for your triple balls, Carl Anthony one shot. And that one misses. You can tell Towns is a true modern day player. He's got a diverse skill set, and he can do so much more than you're used to seeing from a guy his size and his position. Now here's Gobert. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Clark, when you think of top rebounders today, Rudy Gobert is a name that comes to mind. Yeah, he's super long and tall, but that's not just why he's such a dominant rebounder. He's got a real good knack for reading where balls are coming off, and the timing that he has is pretty impeccable, too. And even though he's north of seven feet tall. He does a good job boxing out as well. The first free throw is good. Look, we all know Rudy Gobert is a force on defense, but you can't afford to ever ignore this guy. I mean, he's got the physical gifts to make problems anywhere on the floor. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. Warriors leading by five. Looney kicks to Paul. Outside, Green. They double-team Curry with the shot. And the Warriors miss again. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now, here's Looney. Rudy Gobert missing his last shot. Kaminga the pass to Kirby. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Conley. 
Six on the shot clock. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Golden State's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So. And here is Paul. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Curry drains it from way outside. Ho -ho! And then he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Pass to Towns. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Back to Towns. Epic counts. Ten points for Carl Anthony Towns. A good heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. It's three outside. Another three for Golden State. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And now we've got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers. And what has been the trend for Chris Paul? And then the trend that he's going through with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot rather than creating for his teammates. Uh, he may want to rethink that. Daniels is checked in for Minnesota. Edwards comes in for Alexander Walker. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. The pass to come. Gobert dishes to come. High shot from 10 feet out. Conley's got six points. And never one to force the issue. Conley smoothly knocks that down. Outside Curry. They double-team Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Green with a screen on Conley. And Paul puts up a deep three. Conley grabs the miss. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. Was maybe a step out of his range. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. checked in and the Warriors also making a change Kevon Looney is checked in for Stephen Curry Timberwolves on defense they trail by seven Conley against Paul to the inside Thompson misses. Minnesota's gone two or three when they have stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Oh, here's 
Edwards, defended by Looney. Shot from 12, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Kaminga. Ball outside. Thompson outside. Cuts it fly. The rebound by Anderson. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Conley against Thompson. Conley the pass to Gobert. Driving inside. How about Gobert on the attack? This is why his guys encourage him to look for a shot. Al Paul. Passes to Thompson. Let's it go with a three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Oh, here's Edwards. He's got six. Well, I tell you what, once Edwards accelerates, I mean, he looks like he's playing at a different speed than those around him. Paul with the ball. Down low. Here's Thompson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Anthony Edwards. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul. And he'll make him earn him from the line. And that's what you want to see. Two. First free throw is good. Nas Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Timberwolves trail by eight. Edwards looking it over. He kicks it to McDaniels. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Attacking right away. McDaniels wasting no time there. So it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. Curry passes to Green. Gobert with the block. It's Edwards on the wing. Guarded by Curry. Out to Conley. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up on Thursday. They're off to New York to face the Knicks. Then on Friday, they're off to Toronto to face the Raptors. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing. But it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Curry is inside. Edwards defending. Just five on the clock. Paul for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got 11 rebounds in the game. Outside Edwards. Over Curry. Got it, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Edwards. And, you know, we need to keep seeing this from him. It's encouraging to see him sink the mid-range J there. Paul kicks to Curry. Jacks up a three. Oh, how do you stop that from Curry? That was something else. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind him. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. 
54 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Green with a screen on him. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound, Minnesota. Colbert has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Now, here's Reed. Defended by Kaminga. Good on the three-point shot. Now, just a one-point warrior lead. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Outside curve. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Outside Edwards. Pass to McDaniels over Thompson, and again it's Minnesota. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards getting better at improving his overall floor awareness. Nice to see. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Minnesota on top. They lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. Okay, hold up. We have a major situation here in the studio. Someone took my notebook. Who has it? Did you check everywhere, Ernie? Because I did not take it. Don't look at me, Kenny. I didn't touch it. Did you look under your desk? Oh, what do you know? That's exactly where it is. Uh, never mind. And moving on to the Timberwolves now, they're in the midst of a close game. The way they've attacked the lane, oh my God, it's almost Shaq-like. They've been DPR, Shaq. Decisive, physical, and relentless. I think that just brought a tear to my eye, Kenny. I love you. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game, Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. got second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession curry has been sensational yeah he's just been raining down on him from deep here talk about dialed in well you know the stroke looks fantastic even when he's had a hand in his face it hasn't affected him at all and on the floor for steve kerr as we get into the second half in the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Kaminga out there with Green, and it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. Edwards got a tight handle now and enjoys breaking out these types of moves on him. Warriors trail by three. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry from the arc. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert has got rebound number 15 here tonight. McDaniels passes to Conley. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You know, with his strength and body control, Edwards should be an and one machine at this level. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Wiggins. Anthony Edwards. One shot. Shot. How about the work ethic of Anthony Edwards? Not to mention that linebacker build and the sweet shooting stroke. But what he wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about AE. Now, here's Thompson. To the paint, here's Curry. Curry, oh, 
Brady finds a way, this time inside. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. I laid the pass to go bare. Here's Towns. Bank shot, no good. Warriors trail by four. Curry finds Paul. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. We talk so much about the passing of Paul, but CP reminding us here, he can shoot it too, guys. Has to go bare. Back to Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Shot clock at six. Green with the rebound. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Gobert against Paul. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. The craftiness of Paul on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. The feed to Gobert. Kicks it to McDaniels. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Five to shoot. Over Thompson. A nice shot by McDaniels. McDaniels got 12. Big forwards like Jaden McDaniels who can pull up for a jump from anywhere. Those guys are a luxury to have. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft part, Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but you look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. And here is Conley after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And checking out the stats for Kaminga. He's been more than solid over the last month. Putting up about 18 points per, five rebounds, and three assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Now, here's Curry. 33 points for him. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Three for Golden State. Draymond Green. One shot. appreciate most about Green is his leadership. Strong vocally on and off the floor. Inside. And Edwards with the stop. He seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Green. Back to Thompson. And here is Kaminga. Takes it off the glass. And the Warriors lead by five. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Here's Conley. Following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. 
Dove here with a screen for Conley. But three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And what a smart player Conley is. Able to analyze defenses and pick and rolls and make the right read. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because of the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game. For real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. Now here's Gobert, and that one drops. Gobert has got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. With his size, Gobert can make this look really easy. It's almost unfair. Warriors have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Ball outside. Pass to Curry. That's the three fly. Wow, Curry automatic from deep. This guy is simply having a great game from outside. For Minnesota, they've gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Edwards kicks the challenge. And another three for Minnesota. You know, we know he has this shot in his bag. I mean, Towns enjoys going right back at the opponent with the three ball. Golden State's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Thompson is screen on cover. Here's Paul. Lays it up off the glass. Paul's got seven now in this quarter. And, and look, if you're going to allow him to get to the bucket that easily, this lead's going to go from small to big real quick. Minnesota's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Here's the pass to Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident in taking on defenders and finishing. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Now here's Paul. Nine points in the game so far. Green with a screen on Edwards. They kick it out to Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got four assists in the game. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside Edwards. Pass to Towns. That's a basket. His eighth from the field, eight of 14. That's just a difficult assignment. I mean, having to guard Towns in that area, he's always going to find a way to get his shot off cleanly. Golden State's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Curry fires from way outside. Rebound, Minnesota. Gobert has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Edwards. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. That's one he knows he should have drained. Thompson finds Kaminga. Now Green. Paul outside. Pass to Curry. They double team Curry. Four on the clock. Thompson from long range. Rebound Minnesota. Here's McDaniels. He's got 12. That puts them in the lead. McDaniels got four points this quarter. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. And the Warriors with possession here. It's a one-point game. Outside Curry. Paul with the screen for Curry. For the three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Side Edward to the inside. Here's Towns, and Towns throws it down. Towns can carry your offense in a way most guys can't. We've seen this movie before. Timeout called the Warriors. Timeout for Golden State. 
And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for McDaniel. Now here's Paul. He's got nine. Bounce pass from Looney. Thompson for three. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Anderson right side. And the layup is good. And the Timberwolves lead by two. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Thompson gets it inside. And when Thompson gets in a groove, it lifts this whole team. Great to see him shining like this on offense. Outside Conley. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Pass to Pajemski. Passes it to Thompson. Paul, no one around him. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And now a three-point Warrior lead. Now here's Edwards. T right on him. Down in the low post, it goes. Edwards got 11 here in this quarter alone. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. The Warriors shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Back to Paul. Sweet little floater. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. It's Edwards on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left to play in the third. Anderson outside. Back to Reed. Oh, and that one. No question. Powered it down. Sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. A minute 42 left in the third. And here is Paul. He's got 14. Flamingo with a wide open look. Offline with his three. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Stolen by Thompson. Kicks it out to Paul. Thompson against Edwards. Thompson is double. And let's check out a group of shooting guards that have been doing some dirty work inside lately, averaging the most rebounds per game at their position over the last 10 games. Second is Anthony Edwards. Well, it's not easy to do what these players have done in that area, strictly because of positioning. I mean, typically a two guard, you're not in tight when a shot goes up. So competing for rebounds is that much more difficult. And that's why it takes that unique combination of agility and instincts to make your way onto that list. Those guys have a terrific balance of the physical and mental aspects of the game. Monte Morris is checked in for Minnesota. And he's good on the second. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Let's it go from 14. Charge grabs the board. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. From past the arc. Rebound, Minnesota. Now it. He's got 24. Over Looney. Edwards. That's good. Edwards got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. Warriors shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. 
Edwards against Curry. Lock at six. There's the three. That shot off. Third quarter comes to a close and a battle brings it to a tie. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. 94. The Warriors. 94. we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there for him. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure bring more pressure pack basketball. Edwards and Anderson share the wing responsibility. Nas Reed out there with Towns. And it's Morris in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Reed finds Edwards. Shot clock at six. Here's Anderson. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. It can't happen. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. Warriors trail by three. Curry fires from way outside. From beyond the arc and then some. Curry's got 39. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Pass to Towns. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Back to Curry. Rob. Here's the break. A pull-up. Another miss by Minnesota. The Warriors shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Pass to Pajemski. Screen by Sharich. A shot by Pajemski, no good. For Minnesota, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Outside, Towns. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Just five to shoot. And here's Morris for three. And the three ball is good. And the Timberwolves lead by three. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Morris has gone one of two, shooting from three. Ball outside. Charge just screen on Morris. Out to Charge. Launches it. The rebound by Anderson. Timberwolves leading by three. The pass to Morris. The three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Charge passes to Looney. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And, you know, for a big guy, Charich is very versatile. I mean, he's a good passer, shares the ball well with his teammates, and he's got a laser stroke, too. Now, here is Morris. Pass to Towns, and there's the call on Darius Sharks. That's his first foul. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for Minnesota. They're still slashing and attacking the rim, and the defense yet to make the adjustment and keep the ball in front. 
And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. Free throw, good, Anderson. Greg, taking a look at Monte Morris for a second. You gotta be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second round pick to a seasoned NBA player, Morris never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go, I like offense. And it's Towns missing. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And Curry has it in the corner. Golden State moving the ball around. And the wide open shot from Green. A three-pointer, no good. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. Three-point lead. Read the pass to come. Here's Alexander Walker. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And the shot is good. Curry's got 41. Hey, inside Curry has all the tricks. Floaters, scoop shots, fallaways, left hand, right hand. However he has to do it, he will. Conley against Curry. Conley's shot is off. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. He's absolutely killing it from outside. Minnesota's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Off to Alexander Walker. Off the run, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage, never mind the layup. Come on now. Nice. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Alexander Walker. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He said to them, that's the kind of effort we need to bring every night. We're right in this thing. But it's going to take sustained effort to close it out. Now let's bring it home. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now here's Curry. Good! Another from three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Timberwolves are gone. 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Passes it to Towns. Time to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Curry against Connor. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. 
The shot by Thompson, no good. Timberwolves trail. And the pass to Conley. He dishes it to Towns. And there's the call on Curry. That's his third foul of the game. Minnesota making some changes. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Monte Morris. Anderson outside. Outside Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Over Thompson. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. And physically, Edwards may not look young, but he is just scratching the surface of what he can become. A lot of upside in this young man. Now, here's Thompson. Puts up a deep three. The rebound by Anderson. As to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Gobert finds Anderson. Outside Edwards. Anderson outside. Pass to Towns. Gets the three point of the ball. And now it's a three point Timberwolves lead. And now he's starting to get it going. Four three pointers in the game for him, and three have come in this half. Thompson passes to Kirk. Another bucket. Wow. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Outside Conley. To the paint. Here's Towns. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got assist number eight now on the night. Kuminga with it. Outside Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. Misses the three. The Timberwolves have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Here's Towns. And Curry pulls it down. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Thompson with it. Picked up by Edwards. They double team Curry. Here's Green. Sinks that one from the post. Delicious dime from Curry there. One of the reasons his teammates love playing with him. Minnesota's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Minnesota calls timeout. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that home. They've got to tighten it up. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. Conley. He kicks to Towns. Gobert the pass to Conley. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the Timberwolves lead by two. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. The Warriors have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Thompson outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists in the game. He made three triples in the first half, three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. Timberwolves shooting has been just outrageous. 64% from the field at this point. Towns a screen on Thompson. Here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stop. Edwards is so physically developed already. Just brushes off the contact there. Really strong drive by Edwards. Warriors shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. Curry with it. Now defended by Gobert. Curry kicks to Kaminga. 
and another three for Golden State. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Gobert. Back to Edwards. And again, Minnesota with the triple. He's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. The Warriors trail. Here's Curry. Green taking his time here. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Edwards finds Conley. Towns high post. Back to Conley. Count it and the foul. They get Stephen Curry. That's just being a pro. Conley understanding the moment and rising to the occasion. Fifteen foul. At the line for Minnesota. One shot. One shot. And really just a great rhythm at the line. Whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Now here's Curry. Green with a screen on cup. Here's Curry with the three. And rebounded by McDaniel. Minnesota leading by four. Here's the dish to come. Passes to Gobert. Outside, Towns. Gobert with a screen for Towns. And good at that time. Towns has got 17 now, just in the second half. Towns is so dangerous in the paint. He's got the ability to just muscle through most any defense. They're not having much success at all right now. Kevin, I would shuffle the lineup and put the fire with their coach a little bit just to try to find something that works. Now here's Curry for three. And again for three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Thompson against Edwards. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. And you know what? He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not an easy one there among the big boys. Green with a screen on cup. Fires from deep. Connects again from distance. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps knocking him down from deep. Craig, he has just exploded from beyond the arc. That last made tying him for second in most threes in the game. And it's a four-way tie now himself, Curry, Zach Levine, and Dane Lillard. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by three. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. against Conley. A clear look for Curry. Yet another bucket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. The guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. On loads. It counts. And it's such a plus shooter. I mean, he lives with the big shot. And when he's rolling like this, timeout called the Warriors. They trail by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Seven seconds left in the game. Refines green. 
for Gobert. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And probably more comfortable dishing it. Great to see Green there being aggressive, taking charge. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the second of two is good. That brings them within two here. 18 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. All eyes are on Conley, a normally confident shooter. Can he sink the free throw? And so both free throws are good, and it's a four-point ball game. And I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. Two-possession game. Now. Curry kicks to Kaminga. No good on the three. And there's the call on Curry. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. I'm obviously upset to have to take a seat here. But at this point, I don't think it'll have an impact. The game's probably out of reach anyway. Shoot two. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Known as a versatile and tremendous defender, McDaniels also continues to make real good progress as a scorer. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. And so the Timberwolves take the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, it's just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. With Carl Anthony Towns, you look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Edwards.